Hello everyone, today we're going to explain version 3 of Uniswap. First, let's explain that Uniswap is a part of the so-called decentralized finance or DeFi. DeFi is a group of protocols that use smart contracts to create financial products like borrowing, lending, trading or hedging that are executed fully through the blockchain without any intermediaries. In particular, Uniswap is something called an automated market making protocol. That means that through the use of smart contracts, this protocol enables a swap between any two tokens that are listed on Uniswap at a predetermined price. Since automated market making protocols, but also market making in general, needs capital or tokens to enable all of these swaps and transactions, Uniswap uses so-called liquidity pools that serve as a base to provide liquidity for all of these transactions. So to illustrate as an example, an individual or anyone else around the globe can list a particular token then create a liquidity pool and supply some of the native token and some of ethers or ETHs. And then through Uniswap, people can trade between ETHs and this particular token at a predetermined price. Now, Uniswap has had a lot of success and that also spawned a lot of copies of Uniswap, meaning other market making protocols like SushiSwap or PancakeSwap that enjoyed a lot of success. But Uniswap also had quite a lot of issues as well. And most important, two most important of them was actually that the transaction fees, the gas fees on the Ethereum were actually way too high to enable transactions in an economically feasible way. But the second issue was that the capital and the tokens that were provided in the liquidity pool were used in a very inefficient way because those tokens in the liquidity pools supported the transactions a whole, the whole pricing curve that Uniswap uses. Now Uniswap version 3 tries to address a lot of the problems that we discussed now, but the most important problem they're trying to address in our view is inefficient use of capital in the liquidity pools. Let's explain this with an easy example. So in Uniswap version 3, if we have a token that's traded against a dollar stablecoin, then a person can actually decide to provide tokens in a liquidity pool that will satisfy trading, for instance, when it happens in the range between 100 and $110 and not outside of that price range. Now what happens here is that the capital efficiency of the tokens that are provided in liquidity pool highly increases because it can be specified and assigned to the price range where the token is actually traded now and not the whole price curve. If we think a little bit what happens here when a person provides tokens in a liquidity pool that satisfies a certain price change, we're actually moving closer towards Uniswap becoming an exchange and those specific price ranges and the capital provided in the liquidity pools to satisfy those price ranges are very similar to limit orders that we can find in traditional order book driven markets. So this is very an exciting development that in our view will improve trading in automated market making protocols a lot but at the same time we will move automated market making protocols closer to becoming exchanges with the limit order book i hope you enjoyed this video and looking forward to next time thank you very much and stay liquid